Hey everyone, John Gonzalez here, and today I'm on the west side of Grand Rapids at historic Sullivan Valley Field. This true treasure takes you back in time when you walk on the field. Kids played in the neighborhood, came out to the field, and watched a game in the stadium. It is a true Grand Rapids treasure. Some of the greats have played here, including Satchel Paige, Al Kaline, Willie Horton, and Kurt Gibson. Take a look at the wall where they brought all these photos back, because right now, there is a renovation project taking place in Grand Rapids where you can relive the days and get this ballpark back in use. On September 3rd, there's a huge benefit concert taking place with Michigan band Joe Hurtler and the Rainbow Seekers. And you definitely want to go. We talked to one of the organizers about what it's all about. Um, all right, Paul, tell me, what is September 3rd all about here at Sullivan Valley Field? September 3rd, Friday, September 3rd, Labor Day weekend. People are going to come to Grand Rapids to go to the ballpark jam. It's, it's just going to be a great show. It's going to be a great time with food trucks and full bar. It's a, a benefit show for this beautiful space. You know, Sullivan Field, formerly Valley Field. we got four bands. The headliner band is Joe Hurtler and the Rainbow Seekers. They're a bunch of Michigan guys. They're touring the country right now, and they, they're just awesome. It's going to be a great time. Why you need to come to Sullivan Field here in Grand Rapids? It is a very, very unique space. I mean, the place was built in 1937, wooden grandstands. It's in the middle of a neighborhood. You know, a lot of people describe it as a mini Wrigley Field. It's, it's a gem of a place. It's very unique. There's not many places like this in the country and we're trying to revive it. You know, the city of Grand Rapids has been great. We're working with them. They're gonna put money into this park to renovate it as part of the tax millage. So it's gonna be even more cool in the near future, but we're trying to get people in here. In the past, it's been locked up and you haven't been able to come inside unless there's a ball game going on. Now we're letting people enjoy it and this, this concert, this benefit show, it's gonna be a blast. Yeah, the, uh, the concert's gonna be right here. You can bring in your, your bag chairs, get comfortable, enjoy the fresh air, gates open at five. We're gonna have back-to-back -back four bands and we're gonna be out of here by 10 o'clock because you know we wanna be cool to the neighbors. <laughs> um, it's just gonna be really, really fun. As I mentioned, food trucks, full bar. Uh, just, it's just gonna be a great time. 26 bucks a person, which I think is a bargain for that much entertainment. Uh, it's gonna be really, really fun. And we're also encouraging people, you can get tickets at ballparkjam.com. We're encouraging people, maybe they don't wanna come to the show, maybe it's not their thing, but buy a ticket, give it to your friends or family because we're, you know, we're using this as a benefit for the ballpark too.